All right, is it you? It is me. JT, are you an atheist? You know, I prefer to use the word non-believer. I think that's a more appropriate word. No, no, non-believer in what? In uh, most anything that has... Anybody who tells me that they know uh -huh. exactly what happens after you leave this earth, okay. I question that. I challenge it. You know, Sister Mary Joseph in the first grade, she told me about what happens uh, with heaven and hell and afterlife, uh -huh. but I'm not sure she was really any better informed than I was. That's what's a starting the, What's point. the idea of this piece? Well, you know, the Paradise Circus is a mashup of a cathedral steeple, a confessional booth, and a circus tent. All of the images on the inside and the out are created from costume, pictures of costume jewelry that I collect, photograph, and then put together in Photoshop. So it's all cameras and computers that put this together, and it's all a statement about being free thinking and, you know, See, living for this this world and this life, and not worrying too much about what happens in the next. Or is it a condemnation of those who try to encourage a focus on the afterlife and not this one? Well, you know, condemnation is such a well, such a strong word. It's a parody. Uh, it is. You know, um, what I'm doing is I'm I would call it gentle poke at uh, at well-established traditions and monolithic institutions right. that want to tell you how things are and what you do, right? So it's a, it's a, it's a gentle chide toward those institutions, you know? Uh, I have 12 years of a Catholic school background that sort of uh, helped to, to point me at this in the first place. And that's sort of the, the point of it all. But uh, you have, what, six different sides to this? Uh, you, you go after the Hindu? Well, you know, um, I like to think of myself as an equal opportunity disbeliever. I, uh, I challenge all the religious institutions equally, you know? So whether it's the Muslim concept of 72 versions, or the Hindu-Buddhist concept of reincarnation, or the traditional Catholic Church notion of the nature of angels that's very specifically laid out. Did you know there are nine orders of angels? No. Beginning with cherubim at the bottom, then seraphim, and of course archangels at the top. This was written about over and over again. I challenge those assertions. At its core, in other words, do you believe in any angels? You know what I believe in? I believe that I'm living in on this planet, in this time, with this level of consciousness. And you know, something may very likely happen after I leave this earth, but I don't know what it is, and I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I'm gonna try to live the best life that I can, and not try to tell other people what to believe or how to live, but only try to be an involved, productive member of the community that I live in now. Where do you live? Uh, South Pasadena. I grew up in Hollywood, and now I live and work in South Pasadena. Terrific. Thank you very much. Sure.